Um, I'm really proud of our team for battling. You know, I thought we, we did a good job of competing. Um, we came into a tough environment um, with a lot of adversity and, and played, you know, a national championship um, competitive team. And I was proud of our team for the way we played. Um, I was proud of our team for um, you know, our attention to, de to detail. Um, we had some breakdowns. Um, there's no doubt about it. Uh, we, can't, we can't afford to have 21 turnovers. We can't afford to give up 17 0 boards. Um, but for the most part, we were looking for our team to come in and just fight and compete and execute the game plan. And, and for the most part, we did that. For Sierra, just could you tell before the game, could, even before warm-ups, or what did you, when could you tell you kind of had it going tonight in terms of your shot? I mean, this is our rival team, and we wanted to come out just to be competitive and to play hard because we've been struggling um, with like communication and stuff in practice, and we knew that we needed to come out and prove ourselves and show that we want to be here. And um, just throughout practice yesterday, during our practice, we had a good competitive spirit. We were competing, we were working hard, we were communicating. We worked super hard on our zone defense, and I think that you can tell that in the game because we were communicating super well when to bump, when not to bump. Just overall, like our team just wanted to come out and uh, compete against our rival. Coach, how much was Tennessee's pressure a factor there at the end? Just did they get some separation there? Yeah, it, it, it was a major factor, you know, and that's an area of growth for us. Um, you know, when teams pressure us, we've got to be able to calm our minds. Um, we've got to be able to execute our press break. Um, you know, we have we have uh, young perimeter players, young guards, and, and, and I think finding some calm in the storm, so to speak, is, is a growth area for us. And um, that kind of pressure with that kind of length and athleticism that we see in the SCC is really hard for us to simulate in practice. Um, and so we have to do as, as good a job as we can, um, and we have to prepare them as well as we can. And then we're just going to learn on the job every day. Um, and we're thrown into the fire to, to be able to find a way to calm ourselves through that. So yeah, I mean, that, that 10 over run that they had there in the fourth um, due to our turnovers was, was, was a problem for us. For Steph, I know this game didn't end up the way you wanted to, but to come as close as you did for most of the way, particularly, I guess, Belle, you really we got a couple points from her. Just what, how encouraging is it for moving forward to have a result like this, even with it not being a win? Yeah, you know, it's um, I'm, I'm not huge in moral victories, um, but at the same time, um, the growth area that we had in terms of our competitiveness and our fight, um, it, it, that's what we were looking for. So, you know, it, it's, not, it's not as much about the scoreboard. Um, you know, certainly we want to win. We want to put ourselves in a position to win. We want to give ourselves a chance. Um, but we grew a lot tonight in terms of our competitive toughness, in terms of our mental toughness, um, in terms of our ability to play with multiple levels of effort. Um, we asked our players to be 1% better in every area, and, and we were tonight. Um, and, and that's what we have to continue to do. We're in, we're in a rebuilding process. Um, it's not going to happen overnight. We know it's not going to happen overnight, but if we can continue to grow and get better every day throughout our process, um, then, then we're moving in the right direction. And today we took a step forward in the right direction. Coach, uh, back here. Um, Tennessee's freshman is a big topic of discussion, but how much of a matchup nightmare is someone like Mercedes Russell in the middle? She's a nightmare, yes. Um, she's, really, she's really hard to match up with, not just because of her size, but her poise, um, her strength. And you know, I covered, I was able to cover Russell in um, when we were doing TV um, when she was a freshman and when she was a sophomore, when she didn't want that contact, when she sort of was a little bit passive wanting the ball. Um, and her development, particularly over the last two years, has been phenomenal. Um, you know, she's a pro, there's no doubt about it. Um, she's hungry for the ball. She puts this team um, on her shoulders in a way um, that you don't see a lot of bigs do. Um, and, and she's so poised. She's so poised uh, and mobile, and, and you know, she's, she, there's no doubt, I, I'm not sure that there's, there's anybody in the country that can match up with her, um, and, and she's really a, a rock and a glue for them. Coach, could you also talk about, you talked about the competitiveness, but about what are you able to do offensively against them? You know, not only the outside shooting, but the third quarter, you were, you were getting inside and breaking it down there, too. Is, did you see some, some real progress there too? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we, we know that we can shoot the ball um, when we get a chance, and, and, and typically we like to play from the inside out. Um, but with their size, we knew we had to be able to knock some shots down on the perimeter to start, and we did. Um, and that opened it up for, for Chelsea in particular. 
um, in the second half to be able to attack. Um, you know, Tennessee has changed up their defenses a lot throughout the season, playing some man, playing some zone, and we wanted to try to just be able to spread the floor and keep them off balance no matter which defense they were in. Um, and I thought our ability to understand what we were trying to get in our offense, regardless of what they were playing, was much better today. Stephanie, how, how if at all, your perception of Tennessee did it change based on your, your scouting report and then actually playing them in the game? Oh, um, you know, I, I don't know that it changed other than the fact that they look big on film, but they look really big in person. Um, you know, you, you, when you have a group of freshmen like they have that, that um, are so poised, um, you know, I, I'm sure that Holly doesn't always think that, but when you watch him from the outside, um, they just play with a maturity level that you don't see um, amongst freshmen. They're all very talented. And then you have, um, you know, Jamie Nard and Mercedes Russell that are those anchors um, that, that really help them from a leadership standpoint, that help them in time and score situations, that help them when teams are making runs. Um, they're a complete team. And their returning players all got better. Their returning players all got better, and their freshmen are coming in and making impacts. And, um, you know, I, this is a team that can compete for a national championship. There's no doubt about it. Chelsea, they are big inside, but you didn't let that deter mm -hmm. you at all. I mean, you got to the line 14 times. Just what is your mindset when you when you head in there with all those trees? Um, <laughs> yeah, they were huge. But um, we were coming off the kind of the pick and roll, so I knew that once I seen uh, Russell come out that I had the open lane. And then if they crash, I kicked it out to my teammates. Anything else? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good